Hello, dear friends. My name is Shashi Martinova. I'm translating between English, Russian, and Irish. I'd like you to hear today a few poems by Yuri Smirnov, a Ukrainian poet, staying now in Ukraine with his daughter and his mother. We're looking for a publisher to publish Yuri's poems in English. Платочек. Когда мы возвращаемся из укрытия в живой еще дом, я остаюсь на крыльце и слушаю, как затухает сирена воздушной тревоги. Их несколько. Они отключаются разновременно, словно бы из септокорда организм убирает звук за звуком. Последняя как будто захлебывается собственным кашлем, как пожилой театрал в портере, прижимая к губам белосерый платочек, видавший лучшие виды и времена. Hinkachev. When we are back from the shelter to the house that's still alive, I stay on the porch and listen to the air raid siren fading away. There are several of them. They switch off in a synchrony, like some organists taking away from a seventh chord one sound after another. The last one seems like it's smothered with its own cuff, like an elderly theater goer in the stalls mopping his lips with a whitish-gray handkerchief that had seen better views, better times. The Eighth On the day of Bach's birth, I lie motionless and I watch Sviatoslav Teofilovich Richter playing the Eighth Sonata by Mozart in London. Here he comes out like Marshal Zhukov comes out to the order. Here he bows, curtly and unequivocally, like a judge satisfied with the ruling and the choice of an executioner. By the way, Richter's father was shot dead by our bunch ten days before they surrendered Odessa to Germans, which didn't stop Richter from being one of our bunch, even though he is three-quarters German and one quarter the Soviet marshal of those keys. The lights are fading. The interrogator's lamp is glaring Mozart in the face. The eighth sonata sounds to me like some counter-revolutionary organization. Richter's fingers, they're not flying, not running. It seems like, like his hands are shaking, as if he is having a fit as if in convulsion, and Mozart, three-quarters German, one-quarter wine from the taverns of Vienna, buried in some pauper's peach, just like Richter's father, in the plotting of his sonatas is shrewd. Here the music slowly rises skywards, and here are the goosebumps of joy thrilling the public. Mozart was one shrewd beetle. Richter receives the communion. For him, those speedy stretches show Sonata's crises, the crisis of Genesis, and so he goes through them even faster. At Andante Cantabile, though, the hands are falling into the form of keys, as on the shoulders of a prodigal son returned. What was born on the day of mother's death, in the placenta's lava hitting right from the sky, Richter plays it with the hands of his dead. He shouts in horror with his motionless face, with the firing slit of a green plan remodeled. God whispers to that baby boy of seventy years, Courage, my dear, don't you give up. I'll walk you out of Russian captivity. Just do that and go wherever you want, even to that chopping of yours. Cuba the spring tries in vain to explode with warmth, as an aircraft repair plant explodes, hit by caliber. When we win, I'll come out to the porch with a little jar of Cuba Libra. I will read something nice of Hobbits and the Rain, or maybe of Chunya the Dachant, or maybe even some meaningless story of zombies, and I will feel how the hollow hole under my glassy heart hides that mortal. Cold. 
airmen and sailors. My niece behind the wall practices her pianoforte to prance she trains her fingers. So far the success, success is meager. She repeatedly stumbles and lingers. After every third stumble she snaps and she pummels the keys and totally quits all music. But then she re-enters. Behind the window some alien airman brings in haste his new presence of death to some towns. Every time he is back, the girl loses her track, and when his sound is gone, her fingers again can don their flighty boldness. I am writing a movie script, some who done it. On the scale of evil, my arch-villain is at the unhappy beginning. Everyone at the airbase is dead serious. Why bother writing those movie scripts and training those fingers to prance? Before their death, sailors don their clean dress. If you spared, come evening, go dance. Thank you.